What's up, guys? Uh, definitely not the, you know, normal video that you would see on the Painful channel, that's for sure. But as you guys can see by the title, things have sort of been interesting in my life lately, and I wanted to be vulnerable and open up to you guys and kind of give you guys an update on everything that's been going on, because it has kind of been a roller coaster lately. So to get things started, I started having symptoms of diabetes, like, over the course of a month. And I wasn't really too sure what was going on, but for some reason, I was so thirsty. Okay, like, guys, I was drinking two gallons of water a day, and just literally, it felt like I hadn't drank in years. That is how thirsty I was. And essentially, what was happening was even though I was drinking all of this water, my body wouldn't take in any of the water. It would basically just go right through me and I'd end up peeing like 10,000 times a day. Yeah, it was kind of annoying, especially when you're trying to sleep. So yeah, the first thing I noticed was I just had this crazy amount of thirst and I wasn't really too sure what was going on. I just figured I needed to drink more. So I just kept drinking tons and tons of water. But that's when things got even worse. Every single hour of the night, I would wake up because my mouth was completely dry, like not a, a sliver of saliva, which is actually kind of weird to say. But yeah, I literally couldn't like even swallow. That is how dry my entire mouth was. So every hour I'd wake up and I'd have to drink some water and just try to get some liquid going. And I'd go to sleep and I'd wake up every single hour, which led me to being very sleep deprived. However, I'm a very stubborn guy and it takes a lot to make me go to the doctor. So that wasn't going to stop me. I kept pushing through all of these symptoms, thinking that they'd just go away, continuing training really hard at the gym, and after one really intense leg workout, I was absolutely destroyed. I had absolutely zero energy and just figured I needed to eat. Once I got home, I dove into my fridge and ate a ton of food, and unfortunately, every time I tried to eat or drink anything, I would just throw up. So after a few days of not being able to eat or drink anything, I ended up losing 21 pounds. Now keep in mind, it's not all muscle as I was extremely dehydrated. I figured something very bad must be happening and I should probably book a doctor's appointment at this point. So once I showed up to my doctors and explained to her what my symptoms were and what was going on, I immediately was sent to the hospital. At the hospital, they conducted a bunch of blood tests, and I am not joking, I literally had so many blood tests, I didn't even know I had that much blood in my body. But after a few hours of getting blood tests done, I had multiple different doctors asking me if I had diabetes in my family. And at that point, I knew something was up. And after a couple more hours, the doctor came in and let me know that I have type 1 diabetes. And for you guys that are unfamiliar with diabetes, type 1 diabetes means I got it from genetics, just from my family. However, people can still get type 2 diabetes from eating unhealthy, not taking care of their body, not going to the gym. So if you live a very unhealthy lifestyle, it's time to make that change. Now getting back to the story, after I was diagnosed, I was then sent to the intensive care unit, where I would spend the next four days there trying to get my blood sugars back to normal. You see, normal blood sugars are between 6 and 8, and my blood sugars were over 30. And for those that are unaware, you can literally go into a diabetic coma and die. So it is very serious that your blood sugars are at a normal level. I ended up staying in there for four days and trying to learn as much about diabetes as possible. So because my body doesn't produce insulin anymore, I have these pens that are like little needles and I have to take five of them every single day. If there's anything that I learned from this is you need to be grateful for everything that you have because tomorrow is never promised. And another thing I'd like to add is life always throws challenges in your way, but that is all they are is challenges. And to be honest, I really look at this as a blessing. Now I have to be really on top of my nutrition, which is going to make me overall healthier. I'm going to be more disciplined. And having those traits is only going to benefit me in other aspects of my life. Now, if you'd like to follow along the journey, throw me a follow on Instagram and I'm posting on my stories every day. And another update, a 100 day video might be brewing. Take care, guys.